So now let's jump into the last topic, uh, so sensory receptors. So sensory receptors um, are different kinds, they're basically specialized neurons. So if you think about a typical neuron, it's stimulated by neurotransmitters from other cells. Sensory receptors are stimulated by different kinds of energy, so whether it be light or heat or sound. And um, there's two different kinds of, of sensory receptors. So you have cells, so for example, like the, the hair cells in the cochlea of the ear, or free nerve endings, like uh, the free nerve endings that are in the dermal layer, that reach up at the dermal layer of your skin for, for touch and, and pressure. And um, so these, the cool thing about these, these sensory receptors in the fact that they're specialized neurons is that they uh, not only detect the, the presence of a stimulus, but also the size and shape and color of it. So when you see, so when you see a light, you don't just detect that there is a light, but rather the color of the light, how big it is, how bright it is, and um, you know, the shape of it. So pretty cool there. And how is this related to sensory pathways? So the sensory receptors will pick up a stimulus, detect a st stimulus, and, um, and so what happens is actually the, the dendrites of these uh, receptors are actually disturbed. And the disturbance of these uh, dendrites will open up the ion-gated channels of the cell. And if you guys remember from physiology, the, um, you know, these ion-gated channels, you know, we have a, a certain membrane potential, which is usually about negative 70 millivolts. And so the disturbance of these dendrites will open up the sodium-gated channel, which will depolarize the cell. And once you reach a certain threshold, you're going to have you know, the all and principle take effect, and you're going to have the propagation of an action potential. And this, is, and this action potential is then transmitted through sensory ganglia, right, or collections of nerve cell bodies outside the CNS um, ganglia. So it's going to go from receptors um, and this, again, this is the sensory pathway. It's going to go from the receptors through ganglia in the peripheral nervous system. And it's going to be sent to the central nervous system. Um, so again, so those are the sensory receptors. Again, stimulated by different kinds of energy, not by neurotransmitters, but by other kinds of energy. And um, you know, the pathway of this is going to be like any other cell that experiences active potentials. But um, you know, these dendrites are going to be disturbed, going to open up the ion-gated channels, and you're going to have the propagation of active potentials via that method. So questions on that? Pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory, but that's how your receptors work.